Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. We've got weather in five, five days and five minutes as we uh, take a look at what's happening across the country this morning. We actually have a, uh, a, a small area of uh, winter storm warnings and even some blizzard warnings uh, in parts of uh, Wyoming and Nebraska. Also seeing the uh, storm out in uh, the west starting to wind down a bit. Uh, as the number of uh, war warnings and advisories has diminished some. Uh, we are not seeing too much happening in the eastern part of the United States, although we do have a weather system that is moving through at the moment. Um, there are no important watches or warnings uh, that are posted. Small area of uh, flash flood watches up for northeastern Texas. We start to set up with the next weather system that is going to be uh, moving uh, eastward. And in the meantime, uh, uh, for the start of the day at least, we do have uh, quite a bit of cloud cover here. We had some rain overnight. Um, that is moving uh, out to the northeast. The next weather system is beginning to pile up moisture uh, in the southwest and surging it northward. So this is setting up for uh, what uh, will probably be a, a bit of a winter storm for parts of the uh, central Rockies and central plains. And then uh, that low is going to be heading on up uh, to the northeast. On the uh, radars this morning, uh, seeing the last batch of that rain uh, impacting parts of the northeast moving eastward, there's a little bit of snow going on in parts of uh, northern New England. And we also have uh, some showers and a few heavy downpours in an east-west band from northern Arkansas, east across uh, Tennessee, southern Kentucky into West Virginia, and also into uh, eastern North and South Carolina. That is all sliding out to the east. And uh, meanwhile, out in the west, you can see the counterclockwise rotation with the upper uh, low and surface low that's off the coast of California that seems to be uh, the driving force with weather systems that we're dealing with for this week. So here's the surface map uh, this morning. Uh, the uh, There's a, a weak low off the Delaware coast uh, that is moving uh, northeastward, and uh, there's also a bit of a weak weather front across the Great Lakes. This is not uh, any kind of impressive storm system that we're dealing with. And uh, in the southwest, of course, you can see the energy that's developing down out here, uh, which is going to set up our next round of events uh, as they uh, move across uh, the northeast. The uh, Storm Prediction Center for today has a slight risk of severe weather in parts of, uh, uh, of Texas and uh, extending into a marginal risk into southern Oklahoma for later today and tonight. Uh, for tomorrow... Uh, the risk area actually expands, and we have an enhanced risk of severe weather uh, in roughly the same area, and the slight risk pushes up into Oklahoma with marginal risk on up into parts of Kansas. And uh, tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show, we'll uh, talk about uh, the implications of this severe weather risk and, and how serious it may be. Uh, usually when the SPC's got an enhanced risk up the day before, it's uh, kind of an indicator that they, they, uh, uh, they're, they're treating this uh, rather seriously. And then as we move on into uh, Thursday into Friday morning, the risk area shifts eastward into the uh, lower and middle Mississippi Valley with a marginal to slight risk ex extending from Texas all the way up. Uh, into uh, the southern lakes. So uh, you guys see that slight risk area there. I'm thinking that this area uh, has potential also of uh, being expanded. So let's take you through the rest of today as weather conditions actually should start improving as the system moves away this morning. So uh, there will be a lot of leftover clouds to work through and uh, the air is going to have a bit of a cool raw feel to it at least for a while. But we should dry out tonight and Wednesday is looking like it's going to at least start off as a nice day although clouds will be on the increase. And then we're going to be dealing with a, a warm front that's going to be approaching. There's a lead system that runs out ahead of it, and it's going to produce some rain here Wednesday night into Thursday morning from northeast Virginia to southern New England. And not too far north, though, in interior central New England on the front end of this, there could be some snow. Then uh, we wait for this developing low, and here's where we're talking about the potential for uh, a winter storm here uh, in the central Rockies and pl central plains as this low uh, heads on out to the northeast. Uh, that will bring in and actually force the warm front through here Thursday night into Friday morning. 
setting us up for a really warm day here on Friday. I think we could see temperatures uh, in many areas in the 70s and, and perhaps from southern New Jersey, south and west into northeast Virginia, we could see highs up around 80 until a cold front goes on through with maybe another shower Friday afternoon. And after that, we've got cool temperatures setting up for the weekend. As far as snowfall is concerned for New England, this is for the weather system today. A coating to a couple of inches seems most likely. And then with the next weather system uh, for most areas also could be another coating to a couple of inches. Meanwhile, out uh, in the west, uh, this is what uh, the weather service numbers are for uh, the areas in the central Rockies uh, with some uh, one foot plus amounts possible here, uh, Denver, just on the uh, easternmost flank of this, uh, but just to the west and northwest, we're looking at some numbers in the 6 to 12 inch range. And of course, that snow uh, extends on the order of a coating to a couple to maybe as much as four as you work your way up uh, through the northern plains and into uh, the western Great Lakes. And uh, as far as temperatures are concerned, uh, we're looking at um, uh, high temperatures today. Uh, from eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England. Let's, uh, let me fix this map up and then zoom in a bit. There we go. So we're looking at temperatures today that will be into the 60s in northeast Virginia, but not much out of the upper 40s and low 50s from New York City north and east, and everybody else will be somewhere in between. Wednesday, we are looking at temperatures settling down a bit. They should be in the 50s everywhere. And then as we get into this warm front, cold front combination for Thursday, uh, we are and, and also some rain, we will be in the 40s from New York City north and east, but 50s and 60s start to uh, increase as you go south and west. And this is all going to depend on where the warm front is. You've got low 70s in uh, northeastern Virginia and into Maryland. You've got 60s uh, in southern New Jersey, low 70s in south central Pennsylvania, but only 50s in and around New York City and 40s into southern New England. But by Friday, with everybody in the warm air, uh, this is where we could really push the envelope here and get everybody into the 70s and maybe even some warm spots uh, from uh, southern New Jersey and southern Pennsylvania southward could see temperatures up around 80 if we get enough sun. And then it'll be cooler and drier uh, uh, over the weekend, another chilly air mass uh, we'll be building in. So a little long on weather at five this morning uh, as we uh, got a few weather systems in the mix. Uh, the Joe and Joe weather show tonight will address all of this and look at the long range and a few other uh, things. So be sure to tune into that on my YouTube channel, Joe Chaffee weather at seven o'clock, or you can watch it on the replay on my free weather apps uh, available on Google play or on the app store, the meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app, which is what it's called or Angry Ben's Weather app, The Angry Weatherman, and download those, and you'll be uh, up to date and in touch with weather, uh, and, it's all fr and it's free, so why not download it? Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later.